Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncrate the top of the line helmet from Liat. It's the 9.5 Carbon. So South Africa is known for a few things. Elon Musk, of course, Charlie's Theron, and Liat, right? Liat was founded by Dr. Liat from South Africa who witnessed a uh, severe spinal injury on track uh, at one of his son's races and he set out to make safety equipment to prevent such injuries. They started with neck braces, so you've probably heard of Liat neck braces, but of course now they make a full suite of Moto Gear boots, helmets, uh, apparel, you name it, they've got it and they've got it good. Uh, they show their work is the thing I like about Liat. They're very safety focused. They show statistics and testing results for pretty much all of their gear, including their helmets. It's funny that most brands don't do that. Um, it'd be nice to know that your safety gear was tested and how it performs against the rest of the pack. Liat actually does that. So it, if you want to go over to liat.com and check out the results for the 9.5, uh, they're all posted there and it does quite well. Um, we'll get into that more later, but <clears throat> safety focus, ultra lightweight. This thing's only 2.8 pounds. We weigh the size medium carbon on the scale. Anything sub three pounds is ultra rare air lightweight. Um, they use the same chassis for the 7585 and 95. So those are all essentially the same helmet. What change, and we have videos for those you could check out. Um, what changes is the shell construction. So this is this really pretty carbon fiber weave. Okay, good looking. And uh, they're including a set of goggles. So they call it, you'll see it listed as a kit. This helmet, it'll say uh, 95 helmet kit. They only make it in the pure carbon, they don't make any other colors. And uh, they include a set of their 6.5 goggles uh, free with the helmet, all for $550. So talking full carbon, high end, lots of safety features. We're gonna go into a bunch of them right now uh, for that sort of price range is, is pretty reasonable compared to the rest of the pack out there. This helmet is DOT and ECE certified. It's an intermediate oval and true fit go with three shell sizes, which is important. Go by the Liat uh, sizing chart on our website and uh, you won't go wrong. In case you do, Speedax has got you covered free exchanges and returns. So if the helmet don't fit, just give us a call. We'll get you a label and uh, send that back, get you the right size or just get your refund if it's not for you. Let's dive in and see what Liat has cooked up for us. This is a pretty helmet right here. Up on top, you'll notice there are no screws, nuts, pins, um, et cetera, popping out of this, this, uh, the sun visor. What this is, is it's a quick, quick release snap. Okay. So you don't have to worry about a bolt shearing or not shearing. Uh, the quick release snap option is, uh, probably the lowest risk to really pull on your head. Should you take a header? This is meant to pop off nice and easy. Like sometimes you won't even break it, which is kind of nice. Unlike, uh, ones with screws, even if they're plastic. So we like the, uh, shear way visor system snaps right back on. Uh, they also have these big windows, uh, kind of Ram air style. Good looking. The one thing that when I first saw this, I said, Oh, it's not adjustable and it's sitting pretty far up. So how much sun is it really going to block? And they've thought of that. They include a visor extender in the box. So if sun is a problem for you, they're going to give you a little bit more coverage there included with the helmet. Let's talk about ventilation. Liat helmets, and this goes for all of them, have just a ton of ventilation, and they do that by putting these giant ports, okay, all over the helmet. And unlike some manufacturers, when you open this helmet up, which we will in a minute, you'll see that these go straight through the EPS, and they're quite large, so this thing flows a ton of air. Um, you also get a really big mouth vent here, and uh, these are actually true vents that go all the way through the chin bar. So lots of ventil ventilation, pretty substantial eye port here. That'll almost fit for a four finger deal. It'll take uh, the largest goggles, including the Liat 6.5s. We've tested the Oakley air brakes as well, and they will fit. So big eye port, which is important because that's one of the main places you're also getting air, right? You want a big enough eye port so the air can get through the helmet or and around the goggles and into the helmet. This brow vent right here, you can't see it underneath, but there's a goggle exhaust so it's got a goggle blower to blow in your goggles, keep them clear of fog and keep you nice and cool. And then on the back, got some exhaust ports. And of course the Liat helmets are all made to be extra compatible with neck braces. A lot of helmets claim that, but then they have, you know, chin bar designs that kind of hang down lower. 
And what those will do is they'll bump into your, your neck brace and while it will still be effective, it won't be as comfortable, you'll have less range of motion. So Liat pays special attention to this cut and that it's nice and flat so you can have maximum range of motion with the neck brace. Okay, let's check this out. Like I said, big plump cheek pads. Out of the box, it's a little, feels a little tight. Don't worry, this is low density squishy foam that will break in and, uh, and work for you. So stick with that. Emergency quick release cheek pads, in case you don't know, that allows EMS to slide the cheek pads out of place just by pulling down on these. And then that will make the helmet easier when it, when it gets uh, pulled off your head in case you're in bad shape. So let's remove these. All removable, washable, the entire liner is uh, ecstatic material, which is a silver material that's in the stitching. And that keeps that from growing uh, microbes and stink and funk between, uh, between washes. You can wash these in your sink and air dry. You can replace down the road if you need to. There we go. Typical double D-ring closure. And then I'm gonna show you that this is hydration system ready, which is unique and not a ton of helmets have that. So here's where the hydration system goes in. And then it's, it's uh, got these little uh, tabs in here that you can snake it through all the way up into the front so you can go fully hands-free. Okay, so that's the uh, cheek pads. Let's get this liner out of the way. The liner has a, uh, an elastic system in here that gives you a nice close fit. So I don't know if you can see these bands, but this kind of makes the helmet feel new every time you try it on. It kind of hugs your head and gives you a real secure fit. The other thing you notice in this liner is that you have these, these, uh, these circles cut out of it. And what those are, uh, are, are holes for their 360 turbine technology, these blue little pucks in here. And what these do is they deal with rotational uh, energy, and so or rotational forces. Traditional motorcycle helmets with EPS liners are, are, were made to deal with linear impacts, okay, so straight on. What we've learned over the years is that what uh, is a huge cause of a lot of concussions is actually that rotational uh, force. And so you're seeing more and more technologies come out to manage those rotational forces. 6D was one of the first on the scenes. And uh, you'll see a lot of helmets with MIPS liners. That's what that is. It's dealing with that rotational force. Liat's answer is their patent in 360 turbine technology. Producer Nico is going to cut in a cool video so you can see exactly how these work. But what they do is they, they squish and they shear and they, uh, they deal with some of that, that side to side force and straight on forces. They also kind of keep the helmet up off your head just a touch. So you get really good ventilation between the EPS liner and your comfort liner. The 360 uh, turbine technology is uh, said to reduce um, forces by up to 40%. So go ahead and check that out, liad.com. You can learn more about that. The boring old styrofoam that you see in most helmets is not that boring in this helmet. It actually has four densities. Uh, you see a lot of dual density liners, but four densities is, uh, is pretty extreme. Different density styrofoam or EPS inside of a helmet deals with um, different types of impact. So you don't want it to be all one density, super stiff, right? That will work great in, in a really uh, high energy impact, but it'll do poorly in a slower energy impact, you know? So you want different densities of EPS. They've done that here. And then one of the last things I'm gonna show you is you can see those big windows cut in here or molded in here. So just tons of ventilation. When you hold this thing up to the sun outside, you can just see light pouring through it down onto, uh, onto the styrofoam. Okay, and the last thing, hiding in the back is the eject system that's made by Simpson. And what that is, is it's sold separately. Okay, so you, uh, you put a bladder in here, it's an air bladder, and you, you hang the port on the side. And if you are um, severely injured and they need to remove the helmet from you, they inflate that, that, uh, that bladder in here and it slowly pushes the helmet off your head. So like I said, Liat is all about safety. They pack this thing with as many safety features as we've ever seen in an off-road helmet. Uh, considering the price, you're getting the goggles. You're also getting a deluxe carry bag from Liat. Very nice. All for $550. Head over to speedx.com, pick up your Liat 9.5 today. Grab them if you can. These things go fast. Uh, supplies have been tight. 
in general, but especially with Liat over the last few years. So if you see this pop up, go ahead and grab one. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.